All right, guys, welcome back to another V Rising video. This is going to be a pretty quick one, uh, just as a request. Sorry it took so long to get around to this, but we are going to do a quick little Motka the Curse Weaver breakdown. Um, similar to the, my most recent video with the Adam the Firstborn guide that ended up just kind of showing all of his moves and how to deal with them, we're going to do that with Matka. I want to make it uh, a point of just sh saying that. Uh, I'm not trying to do this absolutely perfectly. I'm not trying to get, you know, I'm not doing it under leveled. You notice I have, I'm level 77. I am doing it, a, a, you know, with equipment that you absolutely can have before fighting her. If you're having a really hard time fighting her under leveled. So I'm level 77. I have a full set of Dawnthorn Blood Merlot Amulet and then a Sanguine Pistols. I'm using pistols on this. I find it to be very good. Uh, is specifically because of the dodge frames. You can use weapon swapping as well if you want to. Um, other weapons if you want. And then in terms of spells, you, the thing about this fight specifically for me is as good as healing is and being able to out-heal things, it's more so can you dodge the things that matter and avoid damage. So healing is definitely good, but you could if you also want to do things like you know, Illusion Dash, or um, things like uh, Phantom Magus to give yourself more uh, health, more survivability, that's absolutely a possibility as well. In fact, it's really nice on certain spots whenever you get, you know, you're getting smacked by two things at once, you can pop Phantom Magus, it's really nice. For now, I'm just going to use the basic abilities here, just Blood Dash, Blood Rite, and uh, Chaos Volley. The gems don't really matter. Again, I'm not trying to show like, oh yeah, you have to do this with this exact, you know, this exact setup. Um, I do have Invisi Gem on Blood Ride. It's really good. You don't have to have this. I mean, it might help you a little bit, give you a little more time. You don't have to have it. Uh, and then, you know, in terms of like dash, it's just like nothing that really matters there. Uh, and Chaos is just more damage. Blood also doesn't really matter. I just found this on the way over here because I had a 100% worker, and then this is the thing I found. Literally just walking. He, there's a wolf right here that had that. So, regardless. Anyway, we're going to get this going here, uh, and we're just going to break down exactly what moves we have here. So, for starters, we're going to shoot. So, she throws this little thing out, makes little things, these little stupid mosquitoes is the word I'm looking for. But I just wanted to show this first things first. Look how far back I can get here. We're going to dash to dodge this. Look how far away we can go. So it looks like this is a really small area to fight. But I mean, I'm actually able to, you know, to get a lot of distance. We're going to dodge this. You can also counter that or use a shield. One, two, three. She's still de running after me. Look how far back I can get. Look at this. Dodge. So this is extremely important. If you're getting, if you're, you know, kiting her is a huge deal. It's a big help. So the more you can do that, the more space you can create, the easier the fight is. Right, so here we're going to, you know, summon some more, what's it called? So because there's a little wave here, more mosquitoes. We're going to dodge one, two, three. Okay. So this is why I like pistols. Because you can dodge like that. Okay, so hopefully this makes a lot of sense. We're going to go to the next phase here. Do a little more damage. And those those exploding mosquitoes are actually really easy to dodge. You can kind of just walk away from them. <laughs> so we're going to counter this. Dodge this. Again, I'm just constantly moving as much as I can, dodging everything. These mosquitoes, you kind of want to get rid of them if you can find a way to get rid of them. Oh, it took a little bit of damage. That's okay. Um, and if you get hit by that move, uh, her little ground attack, then you, you see all the little explosions that happen. Alright, and once you get her low enough, she's going to use her um, annoying little polymorph. I will show you how to dodge that 100% of the time. You can do it with dash or with a iframe. One, two, three, four dodge. See that? So she waves her hands and does it four times. On the fourth, she does a tiny little wave. And if you if you use that time to you watch that fourth little dodge, you can either dash or roll. 
and it's good. You'll, you'll dodge it every time. So we'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Again, I'm just running around. More super mosquitoes. Look how much space I'm creating here. Dash through that. She's probably going to roll soon. Or did I roll polymorph? Sorry. <laughs> My brain's uh, exploding. One, two, three, four dodge. See that? Every time. You want to watch You want to watch out for the follow-up ones because it will not be fun to deal with. Uh, the little follow-up little... Oh! We got to run from that. Got hit. That's okay. And once she's down to half, she'll start burying herself. And that part might seem crazy, but it's honestly really easy to deal with. We're going to keep doing damage. Counter this. Okay, she buries herself. And what happens? A billion mosquitoes come and the trend explode this. Watch this. Pop it. It explodes. Pop this one. Oh, it explodes. Pop this one. It explodes. Who cares? I mean, wh what does it even do? Look, I'm just walking this way. And the kiter. Watch. Look how much time I have. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you see how much time that gave me. I literally just walked around. Oh. One, two, three, four. Dodge. Oh, it still hit me a little, but I did dodge the polymorph. That's okay. We got a health orb here. Oh, got hit. That's okay. And we do a little more damage. Oh. So I'm taking a little bit of damage here, but I mean, for the most part, you see I'm just running around in circles. Kyder from one side to the other. Oh, she's doing her little fun thing. Here comes the little explodey boys. Exploded one, two. I mean, look, I'm just standing here. <laughs> there we go. Hit her with another one of these. Counter that. We don't want to get hit by that. All right. Some more uh, mosquitoes. One, two, three, four. Dodge. Oh, I didn't do it. See, I didn't do it in time. And what happened? I got polymorph. What happens if you get polymorph? You run into the woods. And then you run this way. So you run away. Don't try to dodge. You can also run behind trees. Um, that's helpful, too. Uh, but yeah, I... That should be helpful to show you exactly what to do. So look, I'm just walking around in circles. Walking around in circles. These things are blowing up, doing nothing. I'm just standing over here. Okay, I got hit a couple times. Who cares? That sucks. I mean, she's already dead almost by now. And we're going to smack her once with, with claws. Why not? Uh, never mind. I tried to snipe with claws, but then she started to ult, and I got scared there. So, we're going to not die. I'm going to run over here. And we're good. <laughs> and we're good. So, you see how I ran when I got pigged? I, you can literally just run all the way to the edge. You see how big this circle is on the map? You run all the way to the edge there. So, anyway. Well, hopefully that was helpful. Um, that is uh, that is Madka the Curse Weaver. And we're probably going to do Voltatia next, but that was just, I wanted to get that out there. Show everybody how to do that. Um, I know, I hope that wasn't too long, but I hope you learned something there. And just shows you how you can kite around this whole area. How you can use every single little bit to your advantage. And as long as you don't go too far, she, just, she doesn't reset. Uh, but yeah, you can run all around here and you're just fine. But anyway, well, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you in the next one.